citizens of the internet, you can call me Nitro Indigo and welcome back to my extremely riveting Let's Play The Dog Island. In the last episode, we took Francis to Zuma Village and learned that her friend wasn't actually dead. And we also had to find a cabbage white butterfly for a member of the Victory Dogs, but I couldn't find one. And then we were told that some dog named Peter in Pottsville was having problems with his love life. So today, we are going to go to Pottsville to try to solve his problems. If I can find Boris to draw this and said this game is bad. Now, I, I hope that Peter is outside because you'll be able to tell what dogs need help when they have the question mark over their heads, obviously. Oh, there he is. That's Alex, though. Ha! Huh. I was waiting for you. That, the, rid the riddle I gave you last time was, well, the most easy one. The next one, we the next one will be more difficult, so tell me. What is it that needs to be spanked on his head to be useful? I'll give you some time to think. Come back to me when you have the answer. And by some time to think, to think he means some time to go find the object. So, I actually can't remember what the answer to that is. I knew there was another riddle, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, yeah, we've already said hi to most of the dogs. I just thought Trevor was on board. Let's see what Amalia has to say. So what are you up to now? You explain the situation. Oh, I see. So we ever forgive you a riddle? Forgive him. He's just crazy when it comes to riddles. He loves them. He's given most of the dogs in his village a riddle or two. And he enjoys watching them try to figure out the riddles. It's a hobby of his, really. But after a while, everyone got tired of trying to figure out his riddles. So he doesn't actually have anyone to challenge with his riddles anymore. He's like that, you know. He tends to get carried away with his hobbies. Oh, excuse me, I, I tend to talk too much. Anyway, do you want a hint? He's given me this riddle before, so I know the answer. Which hint do you prefer, a hint or the answer? Okay, a hint. Well, it's made of steel, and you hit it with a hammer, so it's a nail. We use it to make furniture. That's practically giving it away, exactly! Okay, one thing I noticed during that dialogue, which I honestly didn't expect to be there, um, is that first, I don't think I ever knew about that actually, so first of all, um, she has a bookshelf, how do dogs read books they don't have hands? And second of all, why is it right in front of a bowl of water? But before I answer the riddle, I'm going to go to bed. And now let's go find this nail. I think we have to talk to Alex first in order to find the item, or would you find your item and then bring it to Alex? So, either way, I'm going to talk to him. So you think you have the answer? Or do you want a hint? Or perhaps you wish to hear the riddle again? It's a nail. Wheat or floats? What kind of floats, I wonder? Like a coffee float or like a parade float? Yes, you are correct. Why are they called that, by the way? <gasps> You nailed the right answer! Ha ha! I wonder what it is in Japanese. Okay, you win this time. But do not underestimate my riddle making skills. Oh no, this is not over. You'll eventually bow to my great powers of riddle making. I am the Riddle Lord. Scene, but it's gone now and I don't know why that's a bit weird but you toggle it on and off yes you press 2 that's it I thought that was right because I saw a review of this game where he said that there wasn't um, always a mini map only in like Pororo Town and I thought like, that's wrong anyway I wonder where Peter is I think I'm just going to have to look in every single building while I'm waiting I think I'm going to hand in all my flowers oh you get woofs for handing in duplicates that's it that makes sense so we don't have any new flowers, but we've got money, and that's more important. Nitro Indigo, teaching capitalism lessons since 2016, which is the year I joined YouTube. Oh, they only started Let's Playing in 2017. No, Peter's not here. Actually, I think we're going to have to check the memo again, because I have... N there is no dog named Peter. Peter did not exist until the game said he did. <laughs> As far as the residents of Pupville were concerned, Peter had always lived there, but Indigo fought differently. No, he's not on there. I'm 
Andrea's just telling us the same things. Uh, there, Dorothy's house still looks really nice on the outside. Hi there, you're looking healthy. If you've got any tips on how to stay in top, top shape, please share them with me. It's simple, really. I'm a video game protagonist. And we're going to steal your hubs while you're at it. I feel a bit like broccoli now that I think about it. If it's supposed to be any specific plant, please let me know. I still think it looks like stinging nettles. And broccoli at the same time. I don't think I've been in Patricia's house before. No, I really haven't. I was just thinking you. Alex seemed to think of you as his rival. Okay, then. I wonder if their dialogue changes throughout the game. It probably does, but it was like that. When NPCs change their dialogue a lot. I've only recently started talking to like every NPC in the game, though. I've already been in here. I've already talked to him. I don't think he has anything new to say, though. This is Jeremy's house. We haven't been in here yet, but he is important for something later. Oh, we can talk to him. I am Jeremy. I am not the guy from CinemaSins. I am a cloud removing practitioner. Confused, are you? Then I must explain. A cloud remover uses his magical powers to chase off unwanted clouds. In other words, I can change rainy weather into sunny weather. Impressed, aren't you? Hey, hey, stop staring at me like that. Okay, so you don't believe me. I'll show you how it's done. Kuhara, Kuri, Kuhari, Alakazot. Hmm, Alama, Alakazot. I don't think any other dog. I don't think any other dog in the game has a howl that deep. Oh, my staff, my my staff, it's broken. Be calm, be calm. Let's see what I must do here. The stick is broken. What do I do? Ah, I know. I should fix it. Hey, hey, don't just stand there. I ordered you to bring me some wood from the ash tree. The ash tree should smell like this. The ash tree is in the north sandy desert. That's somewhere we haven't been yet. You must hurry. I still don't know who Peter is, but I guess we're putting him on the sidelines for now. Sorry, Peter. But first, I'm going to go cash in my bugs and fish. Yes, let's call it cashing in from now on. Wait a minute, why is he giving us a tutorial about collectors when we've already talked to two other collectors? That's a bit of bad programming. As in they could just program it so if you heard the tutorial once then they won't ask you for it again. I keep forgetting that there's multiple pages but I still can't believe they only have one um, bug and also- okay because all the other run away that's why and some of these have identical silhouettes. Oh it's from morning to noon so the time day does have to have effect on something. So maybe I was looking at the wrong time that's why I couldn't find the cabbage white butterfly. I wonder if there's another page of fish that I haven't handed in yet or flowers. No, there isn't. Anyway, I'm going to North Sandy Desert now. Via Zumi Village. So, see me there. I also, by the way, just before I go, I like how every house in Pupsville kind of looks the same. It's variations on theme, like Jeremy's house has the bubble wallpaper and stuff like that. It's really nice. Makes this place feel very cosy. Just like the music. Along the way, we found. Along the way, we found cherries. And welcome to the South Sandy Desert. And it introduces a new mechanic. Now, it introduces a new mechanic. Oh man, it's burning up here. We'll dry up quickly if we keep staying here like this. Hey, Indigo, don't forget to drink water. Yes, throughout this place. There is, um, there are several oases, and here, you, and in the oases you drink to, um, reduce the temperature counter, which you can see at the, or temperature meter, which you see at the right hand side of the screen, because if it gets too hot, then you get a game over, I think. One more thing, watch out for those poisonous snakes, technically it's venomous, but okay then. Beware of 
enemies that are poisonous and stay away from enemies that can paralyze you. Poison drains your life energy quickly and par paralysis slows down your every move. So just like in any other video game then. Which is weird because the enemies don't actually touch you. I also really like how these cactuses look. Even though there are cactuses and a sphinx in the same place. Even though cactuses are only from America and sphinxes and pyramids for that matter are from Egypt. Well there are lots of pyramids around the world but this is clearly going for Egypt so. Like there are more pyramids in Sudan than Egypt so that's a piece of trivia all day. And there's a really nice flower by four hibiscuses from like Hawaii i.e. not the desert. And speaking of which here's one of these oases. I love that sound effect by the way. And I kept quiet for a bit there because that piano part of the music sounded like something out of Pokemon Mission Dungeon Explorers and we also got to scare this little armadillo hedgehog thing. I can't really tell because the resolution is so low. Um, and it sounds like a bird for some reason. I think it was supposed to be a tenderic actually. Don't those live in the desert? Or are those from Madagascar? Which isn't the desert, I'm not sure. And I have never heard of that flower before. But why are these dogs so obsessed with flowers? Are they rain wings or wings of fire? Who value flowers like other dragons value gemstones? And there's bananas, even though those grow on beaches or places that aren't in the desert. Why am I expecting realism from this game? I don't know. potato which is ex exactly like the hippo food almost if it is hippo food and the model for it also kind of looks like those sweets that are shaped like lips and look there's a village up here I like how it's below ground is that how towns are built in like real deserts View. Welcome to Gagili Village. You see, uh, hot. we are in the middle of the desert. Beware of snakes in the desert, they'll paralyze you. I know, we just went over that tutorial. And now that we're here, I suppose we should buy the local clothes. Why are you dressed like. Oh, they don't sell clothes here. But ice cream helps you cool down. And this kills poison. I think I'll get the antidote just in case because there's no way to cure it. Also, what is this medicine supposed to be? It looks like an envelope. That's always what I thought it was. Uh, anyway, is it just envelope or envelope? Because envelope just sounds a bit weird. It sounds like trying to be French. And there's a random chicken here, so let's scare it. I know what this is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be some kind of stable? This is the place that sells clothes then. And a guitar for some reason. Does the blue icon mean it's something you already have, or does it mean that it's something you can usually only get by combining? I'm not sure. Toilet's goggles. I kind of like those. I don't really see the point of getting glasses in this game because I don't wear glasses in real life, but. I kind of like the pilot's goggles, so I'll get those. Do I look presentable still? And while I'm here, I suppose I should change my clothes then. Also, I don't like how it shows the entire plus control pad, as official media ins insists on calling it. In um, when it says rotation, when only the left and right buttons actually rotate it, and I like how Patati is just frozen in midair there. And I suppose it actually would be a good idea to wear goggles in the desert because it stops sand from getting into your eyes. How many floors is building supposed to be? Because the windows imply there's way more than it looks, but these dogs are pretty short. I'm gonna see if there's any other items just because I want just in case. Oh, my backpack! I never leave home without it. It would be a good idea to carry one when travelling in the desert. And I'm gonna deposit some stuff.
So how does my new desert le get up look? Let me know in the comments. Also, I think red might subconsciously be my favourite colour because I have a lot of red pyjamas and I was wearing a lot of red in this game and that's about it really. I always think that purple is my favourite colour and then, I, then before that was blue and for most I like it was pink and let's scare this camel. It was really out of place in this game because it's not very chibi. Gotta love how it makes no sound whatsoever. You can pass now. What, could I not, not pass before? Oh yeah, it might be possible to go here early, that's why. And let's go to the North Sandy Desert then. Hey, see, I was wise to bring those goggles. Even though I don't think sandstorms are a mechanic, they're just an annoyance. Or a nuisance is a better sounding word than annoyance. And there's a look, it's an Arbok. But seriously, it has the exact same colour scheme. I need cobras look like that in real life, and oh my goodness, paralysis run off. Well, um, where wore off quickly and these are orange hedgehog tenric armadillos and there's a desert right next to the sea isn't that ooh, isn't that like a desert right next to the sea in peru i'm not sure i'm going to go eat some herbs now even though i don't why do dogs eat grass i've seen like my uncle's dog does that sometimes I don't know why. And I always thought that we were sniffing for an item. It's more important than bananas because we already have those. But how will I get out of this predicament? And we've got a new item on our radar though. It's going to get a meet him. We're going to get a radar. Sounds cooler. Maybe it's a cactus flower because we're right next to a cactus. Or maybe it's like every oasis and we get to cut up the cactuses like you cut up grass and Zelda. But seriously, every race is just kind of feel like an action RPG Zelda game, but in a good way. I'm not one of those people who thinks that, like, every, calls every action adventure game a Zelda clone, but still, I kind of want to see a Zelda game like it, because I have been kind of bored of Zelda for quite a long time, actually. Or at the very least, just not very interested in it. And I almost got that fruit, but then I remember the only time it. And there's quicksand, I think it takes you back to the start. And I also learned that French for quicksand is just moving sand the other day, so that's a bit boring. I actually can't remember what I, I don't think I've ever actually let the heatometer, as I'm going to call it, um, tick up before. So, but frankly, I just noticed an oasis there, so that's good. Alright, I guess that palm tree is supposed to be an ash tree, and I imagine it. I don't know. Why would it just be a random stick though when it looks like nothing, an ash tree stick when it's nothing like any of the trees in the desert? Did they get lost or something? That would explain why it's bare. Also, why is this thing being hot as your throat feet hurting? I feel even more people like in the desert, more things would hurt than just your throat. Anyway, let's get back to Pupsville now. And thankfully, the pyramids are here to give us a marker of where the entrance and exits are. world look bigger than it actually is because look how many clouds were uncovered just by us going to the desert but they look kind of like the uncovering map thing though they do that in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers as well mm. yeah you feel like you're going on an adventure still anyway let's go talk to Jeremy who lives over here and he still has the same kind of outdoor eye thing going on as Dorothy Also, why are they calling it an ash tree when it's clearly a branch? We just have like an entire tree in our bag, I guess. Oh, the colour, the gloss and the texture. Oh yes, it's perfect. Yes, indeed, this is wood from the ash tree. I can make a new staff with this. But, and however, to make a weather rod, there are many tasks that have to get done. You must understand that, okay? Hey, hey, aren't you listening? I am saying you need to help me. So we can make a weather wand. Understood? 
I heard Peter is having some problems these days. Oh, so that's how we find him. I assume it's a love matter. He is at that kind of age. Ah, the bittersweet memories of adolescent youth. Say, you're similar in age. Why don't you have a chat with him? So I guess our characters are supposed to be teenagers. That makes sense. But they're dogs, so technically they're not teenagers because dogs reach maturity in like a year. Was it two years? I don't know. I think it's two years. First, I'm going to hand in some items to collectors. <laughs> See, why oh, items in this move automatically? Why don't items in your actual inventory? I don't get it. And I wish I didn't skip past them because they might actually tell me what they actually are. Is it in the cafe or restaurant where there's the, the food collector? I don't know. I think it's the restaurant. They look so similar, that's the problem. Anyway, let's go find Peter. Or not. I still don't know where he is, that's the problem. I'm sure I'll have the question mark over his head when we find him. But still. Maybe I can talk to Jeremy again and he'll tell us where Peter is. a bit anticlimactic and unhelpful. Maybe he's in the victory dog space. No, he is not. I didn't like how this place was really worn down though. So that's where I'll go next. And he's actually is here, that's good. Ha. Huh. I just can't stop thinking about her. Ah, Amalia, your eyes shine like diamonds. Ah, Amalia, 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 oh, Amalia. Ah. Uh. Okay, I admit it. I really like Amalia. We got a problem with that? No, I'm cool. But I just can't tell her how I feel about her. I get so tense at just talking. I get so tense just talking to her. Okay, so I'm a chicken. I wish I was more romantic. Maybe if I had a romantic drop. They say it makes dogs romantic. Hey, would you mind getting it for me? They say you can find one in the South Sandy Desert. Will you get one for me? Please, pretty please. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the romantic drop smells like this. My future is in your hands. What hands? Also, I did not bother giving Peter a terrible Yorkshire accent because that would have just been really annoying. Sorry, half an hour ago I was a whitehead Scotsman. That was not a Yorkshire accent either, but at least it's better than whatever noise I was giving to Noble a few episodes ago. The princess is coming to stay at my master's mansion. I'm pretty sure she already has. There is no other house suitable for her. Yes, my master's mansion is the only one that she would serve her needs. Anyway, in the next episode, we will be going to the South Sandy Desert in order to find a romantic drop for Peter. Until then, stay interesting!